Hi, I'm Cheryl Rowling, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. Thank you for joining me today. Don't worry about sizes or supplies for this card as they are attached to this video. If you enjoy watching this video, could you please like and share as this helps me grow my channel. And if you could leave a comment, that would be wonderful as I love to see where you're watching from or what you think of the card. If you aren't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and hit notifications so you will know when I post a new video. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you out. My contact information is attached. This is the card we're going to make today. Isn't it stunning? The papers. This is from uh, Stampin' Up! Beauty of the Earth. It is all these gorgeous papers. And I chose to use this one because I wanted to use these colors. And what I did is I took, I wanted the fall colors because I wanted a Thanksgiving card. So I looked in here and Cajun Craze, Early Espresso, Old Olive, and Butterfly, or Bumblebee, excuse me, Bumblebee were the colors that were in this, except for the Old Olive. And I just added the green because I, I needed a, a pop of color. So that's what I did. But isn't this pretty? Oh, look at the detail. The, this is from the stamp set oh i did have oh i know it's underneath here i'll put this aside it's from the gorgeous leaves isn't this a pretty stamp set look at the leaves oh my goodness i love them and it has dies to match so i cut these out and i cut them out of daffodil delight instead of bumblebee so i have extras because that wasn't the color i wanted i used this one i used this one this one and this one and then I used um, this one this one and this one to cut out the leaves and we're going to be using um, a baby wipe technique to do this but this is the buckle card and it, I did one the other day and I changed it slightly because I liked it better. I was, this, it showed the hole through here. And I thought, oh my goodness, here it is right here. See, you can see the hole through there. So I thought, why don't I cover it up with the designer series paper? It's there, I can still use it. I can still put this together. But it looks so pretty when I open it up, especially with the gold here. It is real. If you could see it in real life, honestly, you would be amazed at how luscious it looks. It, it is just me, sparkly and gold. I love those for fall. I just really like this card. But anyways, um, all the dimensions and everything are listed in the um, video. And I will be fixing this card up and I'm going to put this on there so that it covers it all up and I'm happy to send it out. So here's my baby wipe. I, I put it in fours, like I fold it in half and fold it in quarters. And I'm taking uh, Cajun Craze, Bumblebee, and Old Olive Reinkers. And I'm just going to put them on the baby wipe. Just uh, wherever. Like there's no rhyme, no reason to where you put them. You just put them nothing will look the same it's all going to be different there won't be any leaf that turns out the same because of the way you put them on this and I will wait a minute and hopefully it will all work together 
and fill in the holes and I will pull out my stuff here that see the this was stamped from the same but it looks different each one looks different from the one before I have and I use the simple elegant trim this gold trim here and the amounts are listed in the video it's uh, yeah there's one exactly the same as this but it doesn't look the same at all similar so that it would be on the same tree but not exactly the same and that's the wonderful part about this card so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my envelope and I'm using this one and I'm just going to make sure that I've got the ink on there and then stamp my envelope. I gotta think I'm going to add a little bit more of the Cajun craze. Just for a little bit more pop of color, but it's fine. I didn't do my envelope before when I was doing the rest ah uh, yes yeah, see that gives it more color for the front of as compared to that nothing wrong with this but you can see it better so what we're going to do is stamp this with our baby wipe ink there isn't that pretty and then we're going to put this aside and put the re-inkers aside and that and I think we've got everything going let me see I gotta get that out of here I use the Gather Together stamp set, which is retired, but I don't have any Thanksgiving verses or salutations or anything to put on this card that are current. Sorry about that. So I use Gather Together and may this season bring you smiles and love that will last all year. So I just chose to use that because it just was the way I had to do it because I had no other I just didn't have anything else that I could use so I've glued this on this is Cajun craze and this is the DSP and this is the bedazzling gold and this is early espresso and we will be mounting whoopsie okay all these cutouts I did two of the maple leaf I did um, one of each of those and I've got other ones there and I did the bumblebee with these three and I did the old olive of the same three and with these two and that's what I'm going to put on here. And then I've got the fine art ribbon. And it's it's really looks nice on this card because it looks like burlap with some gold in it. It it it's just Thanksgiving, harvest, that kind of time of year. It is really pretty ribbon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these on here and twist. I'm wanting them to go from this corner to this corner, basically. Now, I'm not going to glue the whole thing. I just intertwined the stems because that's going to be covered up. So it's not a big deal. And then I'm just going to put a little glue on here 
because I have to put glue underneath these. Well, I have to put the other stuff underneath so that it's hidden. So I don't want to put too much glue. Basically at the center is okay. And if I need to, I will put it on later, the glue it later, if it needs to be tacked down more so that this is kind of hanging out. But I want here so I can go underneath with these different leaves. Okay, I'm getting this out of the way. So what I have done is I put, I think I'm gonna cut all the stems off. I don't need the stems. So when you do them, just cut your stems off. I've cut some of the stems off, I see, but not all of them. So I'm going to cut all the stems off so that they're gone. Now there's an upside down and a right side up. And in reality, it's harder to see whether it's upside down or right side up. So whatever. If you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. And I'm putting this here so that it goes between there. And this is going underneath. This is where it takes the most time is getting this part together. Like that. And I'm putting the, the maple leaf down through here. And it's going in between two so that more of this design shows. And then this one is over here. So now I'm taking this and just doing basically the center and a little bit. You don't want to put too much glue on these. And it's going underneath in here and this one doing the same basic thing is going to fit up in here Kind of easy now that I've got it all figured out where I'm putting stuff and you can just follow mine or you can choose to do your own it's up to you but it is um, a nice card and I'm putting that so that the leaf is kind of underneath but it's still showing a lot of everything. Now this one is going over here and underneath both of those leaves and just in that spot right there. See, isn't that pretty? Now what I'm doing is I'm using glue dots and I'm putting this together so that they are beside each other and they're not going to roll or twist. I want to make sure that they don't twist. And, yep, great like that. So that I can take that and put it underneath here. And I am using my scissors to stick it underneath. I found the picky tool didn't work as well as the scissors. And then I'm just doing this five times because you have five of these. 
they're three inches so you're only using 15 inches of this uh, trim gold trim and you're using five glue dots and it sticks to your fingers and it is a pain in the keister but it looks stunning and it's going underneath there see if you only put your flowers or, or leaves flowers there's no flower here but if you put your leaves glue them on the inside only then you've got room to put this down and then I can go back and take my glue and glue and hold that down for a second and then it will be there does that make sense I hope so So is everybody having a good day today? It was a nice day out there. The kids were able to get outside and bill and I've had phone calls so I haven't been outside, of course. And I was working down here. But I looked outside and it was gorgeous. <laughs> It's amazing how much, how quickly the time goes by when you're busy working on the cards, getting everything ready so I could do this video. See how easy that is to when it's not glued down, it's just glued in the center. It just makes it so much easier. Okay, so where's the fifth one? Okay, well, fifth one, here we come. I will have to cut it. No big deal. I need my ribbon scissors. Sorry about that, but somebody's calling, and uh, I'm on video, so I cannot get it. So this one, the final one, goes down in here. And like I said, I used my scissors and was able to push it down. Look at that. It looks so, oh, this one is hiding. Didn't want it to hide. Sorry about that. And this one, I'm going to do glue dots. This is an um, eight inch piece of ribbon and I'm putting glue dots on it and it's going right here in the center where the leaves come together. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, love this. Like the everything is just gorgeous for this type of card, what I'm doing. Now I'm going to get this out and I'm going to glue this on. As I said, the uh, direction or the sizes are listed in the video so you know what Cajun size the Cajun craze is and, and the designer series paper. And then I take my punch and I come in here as far as I can and I try to get it in the center. You can use the die. Uh, 
from the rectangle punch or the rec small rectangular die and use that but I honestly wanted to use the punch because it's quicker in the video and I don't have to leave to go to the stamp apparatus and all that it's just easier for me um, <coughs> excuse me now I'm looking for oh here it is my uh, tear and tape and I'm putting two pieces of tear and tape side by side right here I like to cut it you can tear it I struggle with tearing it though for some reason I don't know I always get it longer in areas and I have to cut it and it's like oh my goodness but it I see a lot of people that don't have a problem with it so if you don't have a problem with it tear it it's so much easier but I just I'm always fixing it so it's just easier for me and then I take my take your pick tool and I pull this off oh. just burnish it good so that it's down there we go and that just comes off and goes in the garbage just like that oops <laughs> I missed the garbage Oh, I'm gifted. Okay, so that looks fine. Now I just got to make sure that... Nope. On the last one, I went in here and I marked with a line where it was so that I did not uh, have the tear and tape over top of the hole because then it would this would stick down here and um, I'm going to take this piece and this is going to cover that up because that does not look nice and I thought of this the other night and I was like oh my goodness why didn't I do that so I'm just taking a row of the Seal Plus and I'm putting it there and then I'm putting this over top of this and I'm getting it centered as best I can. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And see now how nice that looks? Just so easy. So I'm going to stick this away so I've got room to work and this I've glued this on there's a half inch here it's five and a half inches long and this strip is only five inches long and what I like to do it what I did with the other one is I glued it so I knew where I would put the verse and because this was attached here I'm doing it upside down on the stamp apparatus. Now I'm getting my stamp apparatus in here. Get my scissors out of the way. And, oops. Make sure I've got everything. It, um, Make sure, yep, that's the correct way. And I'm taking my early espresso make sure that it's all inked up. I can always do it again if I if it's not, but I've done a beautiful job. 
So then I'm taking my chamois and I'm going to clean that off and I'm going to flip it over and I have my gather together on this side. See, once you've got them placed, it's always goes in the same spot every time. So if I don't have it dark enough, which is fine, it is dark enough, um, then I could re-ink it and do it over again. Just put that aside. And there. That is done. Now I'm going to put this ink away. There we go. There's that. And what I'm going to do is grab my uh, silicone mat and I'm taking my seal plus and I'm going to glue this. There we go. And I put it behind here and I try to get it in the center so that it looks basically in the center and it just makes it easier. If I can, and then it's easier for me just to slip this and know a pretty close to where the center is. And if it's not exactly in the center, it's not a big deal but I want to get it as close as possible. There, done. See, it's right up there. That comes there. This is hidden. This shows. And then I'm going to put that, oh, need my silicone mat again. The Seal Plus just has a stronger hold, so that's why I use it. And I'm putting it right along here, putting it right at the edge. It's a little bit long, so I'm going to cut the extra off. because I don't need that. Let me get organized again here. Now I'm using my uh, liquid glue. I just find it's easier, quicker. I'm going to try to get this as much in the center as I possibly can, even around the edges, so that it looks as good as I can, at least. I want it this way a little bit. this way a little bit too much. There. What do you think? It's so pretty. Get my stuff out of the way so I can bring my um, paper back in so you can actually see it. I find it disappears in the white sometimes. What do you think? Is this the kind of card you would like to 
do for Thanksgiving with the buckle card or this is not the buckle card or this is a buckle card but it's not a Thanksgiving card you can I gotta put that in I just wanted to show you that I will be putting that on and covering up that spot so what do you think Thank you for joining me today. I so appreciate you being here and uh, spending time with me. Please let me know if you like this. Like, share, subscribe to my channel so I can grow my channel. Leave a comment. That would be wonderful. I love to hear where you're from. I also love to hear what you think of the card. So if, you, if I can help you in any way, celebration is going on there's free stuff come a discount shopper or a stampin up demonstrator either or it's a really good time to do that as you get a, a lot of free stuff so just let me know if i can be of any service to you and just thanks for being here thanks bye now